Hello, Raw Food Rehab. Today is Tuesday, July the 20th, and it's day 11 of our Revealing Your Inner Rockstar initiative. And this morning, I woke up to a lot of emails or forum posts or blog posts where I can see that the time has arrived. It arrives every single initiative that we do that that little very beginning enthusiasm, excitement, and honeymoon stage of the initiative is starting to wear off for some people. And I just want to step in here and say something right now that's really, really normal. And so if you're feeling overwhelmed or maybe you're tired of green smoothies or whatever the case may be, you know, you're tired of making your own food, you know, all of those feelings that begin to surface right now, just know that you're not alone and that we all go through that um, and that this is a process. It's not an overnight, you know, it's not a religious experience where we just suddenly make the decision we're going to do this because it makes so much sense and we know we're going to feel better and we know we're going to lose weight and we just decide that's what we're going to do and then everything's perfect after that. No, there's a learning curve and it is something that we have to adjust our lifestyle to, okay? So don't beat yourself up. Don't consider yourself a failure. And one of the biggest things that I can share with you is please do not focus on what's not going well. Don't focus on the food you can't have or that you've chosen that you don't want to have. I mean, Jody Clark put up the best blog and she put it also as a discussion in the vault so everybody can see it. And she's calling the title RFR, Raw Food Rehab, is the safe zone. And she certainly did not mean it to scold anyone, but just really to bring into everybody's conscious thinking the fact that if you come on to this website and consider it to be like a treatment facility. I mean, we're kind of a hospital in a sense, a virtual facility for people that are really struggling with food issues. And so when members come on and they give elaborate details, or maybe they don't even need to give elaborate details, maybe they just throw a comment out about a food that's a trigger food for them or and or for someone else and they talk about that and they talk about how they stumbled. Maybe they've even shared a picture of a food that we're no longer trying to add into our diet anymore. Just that mere suggestion for some people can cause them to completely totally fall off the wagon and stumble. So we don't want to do that, right? So am I telling you that we have to always act like everything's perfect and never say anything is going wrong or anything? Absolutely not. But what I am telling you is before you hit the send button on your blog posts or on your comments, please do consider that your words really do have an impact on other people's lives. So instead of giving suggestions of things that might not be helpful for someone on their journey, I love to just do that whole opposite psychology and just look at what is going to be working. I like to surround myself with support and raw food eye, can eye candy. That's what Raw Food Rehab is here to do. So I thought I would just show you a few of the rooms that are going to really be helpful for you as you're trying to realign your lifestyle. Okay, let's take a look at the website. You know, I love to take you onto the laptop. And here's the main page today. Um, it says, Revealing Your Inner Rock Star, Day 11, Making Friends with Your Kitchen. And I said on our Facebook fan page, I mean, who wouldn't want to make friends with a kitchen if it looked like that, right? I mean, most of us don't have that fabulous of a kitchen. So, anyway. And I've also put a slideshow on here. Well, I guess I need to refresh the page for it in order for you to actually see it. But this is these are some photographs that have been shared through the month since we've been open at Raw Food Rehab of raw food and how gorgeous and beautiful it is. And some of these recipes are in our kitchen and some members have not shared with us, but um, it's just such a joy to actually look at this and be inspired by this because it can get your mind thinking about what will work for you. So let's roll down here into the rooms section. Our most popular rooms are the three that I really wanna talk about and hit on today, the kitchen. Let's click on the kitchen and go in there. Just so that people fully understand, the kitchen is our recipe book. It's our recipe section. And here you will see all of the tabs of all the recipes that we have. Breakfast foods, cheese and yogurt, um, crackers, cultured vegetables, desserts, the list goes on and on. If you would please enjoy sharing your recipes with us, 
in the recipe section, we would love that. And the way to do that is you just click on, let's say you've got a raw breakfast item. Click on breakfast. If we can go in there. My computer is slow today. It's overworked. And there's a picture of a breakfast porridge right there. Some of you in the vault recognize that picture. But what you do is you just copy and paste your recipe or type in your recipe right here in the comment section and then it shows up right here. There's my raw food granola. We love pictures. That visual really helps people. So I've added a picture and the way that you add a picture, do you see on, on the here there's a little camera. When you click on a camera it'll give you a box that pops up and you can add a picture from somewhere on your computer like if you've saved it in your photo section or you've saved it to your desktop you can add a photograph and add your recipe this really helps so much and guys this is totally free it's totally free our kitchen is chock full of recipes and I just want to encourage you to utilize the kitchen okay let's go back to I went up to the toolbar to rooms I clicked on that um, another room that's super helpful, I think, is the Culinary Center. And you can always tell the Culinary Center because our very own Michelle K is right there on the picture. The difference in the Culinary Center and the kitchen is the Culinary Center is really where we like to put raw food prep videos. So that if you're one of those people that needs to be walked through and shown how to do something, you'll find it in here. There are also discussions. People can put, certainly post food related discussions in the Culinary Center, that's absolutely fine. But what you'll see here are two different indexes. And you can click on index one is food prep demos and index two is instructions and or discussions. And I'm gonna click on discussions because there's one in particular that I wanna really bring to your attention and we've talked about it before. It's core menu, click on core menu. And this is just a very simple discussion that went up one day where one of our members just said, what are you guys eating? What, what, is your, what do you eat every day? And I love it because members started chiming in and telling lists of what their daily food looks like. And some of them, if I can find one here, let me scroll down. Some of them have added hyperlinks. Like here's Bit and she put pecan spice cookies. And you can click on that and you can go right to her recipe for that. Um, so, but this is gonna give you thought starters of what people are eating on a daily basis, which I just think is super helpful. Okay, here's mine. I, this was my comment. And I'm just gonna show you how I've done it. Uh, oh, here it is. See all the blue? When you see blue letters, that means that I've hyperlinked that to the actual recipes. So you can go through, and if those food items, like if zucchini pasta with fresh marinara and Ramajan cheese sounds good to you, just click on it and it'll take you right to the recipe. So, I mean, these are resources that we have right here in our Raw Food Rehab Mansion that really can assist you. And so instead of getting all wigged out over here and thinking, oh, I need to, I really am having a craving for blah, 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 and I'm really, you know, getting all twisted up about the craving thing, you know, it's just like a child who's throwing a tantrum, right? What do we do with our kids when they're throwing a big hissy fit because they can't play with this toy that they want and we've, we, you know, we've got them on timeout or whatever. The best way to get the child to stop throwing a fit is to divert their attention. So if you're freaking out over some kind of a food that you really want that you know is really going to sabotage your plans for your healthy lifestyle, divert your attention. Log in to Raw Food Rehab and come to the Culinary Center, the kitchen, or, you know, we have a lot of rooms here in the mansion, right? So let's go back to the top of another room. Uh, just briefly because we're just about to run out of time and we won't even go into the room because I want you to discover some of this for yourself. We really have a virtual treasure chest here at your disposal. The other room, the liquid lounge. It is chock full of recipes for smoothies, juices, and on and on. Also the pantry and the tool shed where we talk about ingredients and tools and equipment that you might need in your kitchen. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll talk more about how you can get plugged into support here at Raw Food Rehab and Beyond. Love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.